Hi everybody, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. It has been, it feels like a very long time since I've picked up this camera and spoken with you guys, but in reality I think it's been about three and a half months, maybe closer to four. Um, there were a few reasons for that, mainly, you know, one, global pandemic. It was just kind of a very strange time. It still is a, like a super strange time. Um, so just kind of took some, took some of that time to just, you know, kind of experience <laughs> that and try and move through it. Um, in a way that didn't make me lose my mind. Um, but the second big reason that I took some time away, uh, basically from the internet as a whole, is because uh, Sean and I are pregnant. Well, actually, I am pregnant. Sean is not pregnant, but Sean and I <laughs> are expecting our first little baby, tiny human, uh, this coming November. Uh, which is very, very exciting. We are thrilled. It was, you know, it was the plan. We were working towards this goal, I guess you could say, um, for some time. So yes, we're like overjoyed, obviously. That being said, it has been super strange to experience this all for the first time during a global pandemic. Um, and I know I'm not the only one. So to any other woman currently going through her first pregnancy, I guess really any pregnancy amidst all of this chaos right now, you know, I really feel for you. It's been bizarre. It, it's just been bizarre. And I'm like just kind of getting out of my funk kind of <laughs> and re-emerging into the world. So, um, one of the big things on my list was to kind of get back into my YouTube channel, so that is what I am doing this week. But yes, overall, now things are good. We're feeling a little more confident in this whole experience. Um, it was definitely a shaky start the first three, three and a half months of this pregnancy because it pretty much, you know, we found out in early March, I think I found out on Sunday, March 8th. And then, what was it, like not even a week and a half after that, that kind of the pandemic really took hold here in North America and everything kind of shut down and social distancing measures kind of went in, went into place. Um, and then it, yeah, basically this entire pregnancy so far has kind of coincided with <laughs> the pandemic. Um, and again, I know it has for a lot of other people as well. Uh, but yes, it's definitely been a different experience. It's, I mean, even like my OB, my midwife are saying, you know, it's been really hard for them to operate properly and fully amidst all of the challenges that the pandemic kind of poses in clinics and stuff like that. So um, now that restrictions are easing a little bit, it's been a little easier to access <laughs> basic healthcare here in Canada, um, which is nice. It's been a really, really big relief the last two weeks to be able to get in to actually see medical professionals and get like proper testing and updates on this pregnancy. So we are now 18 and a half. We're almost at 19 weeks. Um, and I feel a lot of relief because over the last week and a half, I've been able to actually get all my testing done and kind of we've been able to catch up on our appointments. So now we know for a fact that baby is happy and healthy in there, <laughs> um, which is why we waited so long to kind of announce this, just because we weren't getting in for regular scheduled appointments and we just weren't sure. Yeah, it was there was just like a lot of things up in the air um, and it was all very like confusing and just like disconcerting, I guess, especially as a first time mom or you know someone going through their first pregnancy but um yes I've arrived to a much calmer place now <laughs> emotionally and mentally because I've been able to catch up on all my appointments um and things are looking much more positive moving forward so yes I'm excited for the rest of this pregnancy journey um but to be honest the first four and a half months were kind of a nightmare <laughs> um I'm not going to go into it much more like through video, but I think I'm going to type up a blog post. I've been journaling this whole time. It's definitely been a rough go for me, like physically and mentally. Um, I've been very ill. Like, and when I say that, I can't even, I've been very ill, <laughs> which is why I didn't even have the energy to kind of film videos or really do anything more than be horizontal in bed or wrapped around the toilet. You know how it is 
super fun stuff. Um, but yes, I think just because I really enjoyed reading about different women's experiences through pregnancy, um, I think I'm going to kind of type everything up into a blog post and put that out on the blog for anyone who feels like they want to read that. But yeah, so that is the plan. So today I basically just wanted to say hi there, hello give this exciting little announcement and then I think I'm gonna vlog over the next few days. It is already kind of late in the evening right now so um, we're pretty much just gonna have dinner and then <laughs> watch a movie and that'll be the rest of our day. Um, but my big task for tomorrow is to sort out my wardrobe which I'm kind of excited to do because now that things are opening up and I have to actually like go to appointments and we can actually start to see people still social distancing but you know we can start to sort of kind of maybe resume our lives a little bit and I just kind of want to have something to wear because I do have a baby bump now <laughs> and I really don't have that much to wear just because with the pandemic you know I wasn't able to go shopping and I found it a little overwhelming to buy maternity clothing online just because like I have no idea I feel like I really needed to try it on so um, I've since ordered a few things off of like Amazon and I was able to pick up a few things last week as well as some of these stores opened so i thought i would bring you guys along for that tomorrow film a little yeah affordable maternity clothing haul slash figuring out outfits i thought that might be fun so yeah i think that's what we're gonna do